with beer. Hey, podcast kittens, it's Kathy Cat and Lady Beer coming at you with another ridiculous installment of Cat with Beer. What I'm talking about. We are not alone. We got the guests. <laughs> The guests oh, in the pink, because we're guests, all wearing pink today oh. on Tuesday slash Thursday. We are all wearing pink because oh. today Indigo is here. Hello. Hello. Hi, nice to be here. And to go. Thank you for having me. If Thank you for having me. Hey, here's Can one. I say, I didn't say before, you look dashing both of you. Oh, you look dashing nice too. We have almost so matching bow ties. Yes, we're all like, we all have bows. Look we at all this. look yes. lovely. We, we all, all spell today binding. we all wear bows. My God. Oh. This, this room is so fun. I love just like seeing the reflection of us right now in the camera there as well. Oh, I didn't if check. If you've seen this Hello. on YouTube, if you've seen this on your YouTube channel, my gosh, this room is so pink. I love everything about it. I can't mm. see, you've probably got a bad angle. Because the edge of the lens blocks the um, oh, viewfinder. Right. Well, so I gotta do this. You'll to find see. it out when well, you that's, watch that's a you problem, problem though. The angle is good. Yeah, oh, that's, <laughs> that's perfect. <fine> <laughs> We that's need a to have a problem. lot of space. What is it to me problem, Indigo? <laughs> oh, that is, holy is that the truth? Moly. So on the huh. last episode, we talked about Indigo's music career, but we didn't even get into why you're actually in Japan, yeah. why you're following your dream here in Japan. Right. Is it related to what we mentioned last time, Visual K, or where is it from? Why Japan? Um, Great question. Uh, Basically, I had always been driven to Japan. I always loved Japanese culture since I was very, very young. Uh, even watching like, I remember watching like the Digimon anime when I was like four and Digimon, just seeing snippets Digimon, of Tokyo. Digimon's are the champions. Bam, bam. <laughs> Good one. Uh, I just thought Japan seemed so, it seemed so otherworldly. I've always loved m huge mega cities mm -hmm. and you know, alien language, which Katakana was to me when I was five years old. I was like, this seems so cool. I want to go there. Um, but then it, 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 it came with video games, obviously. I'm a big gamer. And then also discovering Japanese rock music, J-Rock Visual K when I was like 15. And I was like, I want to do this. I want to go to Japan and do Japanese music. It's so cool. Um, and then at the age of 24, 2016, I came here first time on tour with my band mm. uh, after having wanted to go here for like all my life. And I was like, oh, this country is the best country ever. I guess I have to move here now. Um, went back to Sweden, studied Japanese for a year in, at university, and then eventually in 2019, moved here. Uh, and here I am. But your yeah, Japanese you is very good. You went to language school, didn't you? It's, it's, oh, it's, it's it. It's it. Don't oversell me. It's better um, than mine. Um, Mine's terrible. <laughs> yeah, uh, well, I mean, it's not as good as Kathy's, but, you know, oh, it's, that's it's fine. I can no one's as good as I Kathy's. I can order my McDonald's. I get, I get my way around. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I studied one year in university in Sweden, learned the very basics, uh, and then one year language school here in Tokyo. So that was my first year. I came here on a student visa. After one year, I was able to get JLPT N2, which is like, Ooh, if you get that, man. you can basically yeah, work. You do pretty much everything you have to do. Yeah. JLPT1 is unnecessary level. Hard. A JLPT1 is what expats take to prove that they are really, really good still in the Japanese language. Apparently. Did you do one? Uh, I should. I haven't really have found the time to it, but, but it's I should all, all kinds of words that are you had super specific. I never you had sound the time. So fluent. Once you, you start working learn. in Japan, you just don't have the time that to sit down and remember all the kanji. Well, but, if you already had the word you want, you kind of like don't need N1 anymore, I guess. But yeah. also, the, like, like the vocabulary you learn in N1 is just ridiculous things. Oh, like, it's like super the specialized. Kanji of chicken pox. Like terminology. Yeah, right? Yeah, I mean, yeah. like, oh my God, you're never going to use that. Agricultural terms and all kinds yeah. of ridiculous. Oh, my favorite. Um, so, I'm going to ask you, mm. these are the two questions you are always asked when you're interviewed uh, by any kind of Japanese media. Cool. What's different between Japan and your country? Uh, well, um, well, we have, we have sushi here that's actually edible, so that's one. <laughs> uh, one. Oh. Notice how uh, I didn't burn. say Sweden, I said your country. Yes, <laughs> that is true. Um, and also, uh, I, I wouldn't get, uh, uh, beaten up or mugged if I walked alone like this in the night in the city. That you know? is very beautiful. We're so, actually yeah. going to talk about this in the episode, yeah, too, about your style right That's now. probably, honestly, my single, there's so much I love about Japan, not to be all like, oh, Japan, but, uh. The lack of violence, the lack of risk of mm. assault, you know what I mean? Mm. Um, even, I mean, I, I'm tall, I could beat up a, a, a dude, you know, unless they have a gun, but there's no risk of that, even in Tokyo. I can walk around, or anybody, like Kathy can walk around at night dressed mm. however you want, and you'll be safe. Yeah, Whereas that in, safety in is Europe, wonderful. you probably wouldn't be as safe. Mm, um, yeah, so, unfortunately. Yeah, so like, that's been such a like, ah, nice 
it, it makes it easier to express yourself through fashion and stuff mm -hmm. in a different way. So that brings us to fashion and stuff. When Indigo and I first met, now many years ago. During said tour, 2016, yeah. Yeah, the tour 2016. Oh, Indigo really? wasn't even as big yet. Yeah, like, you yeah. were already known in Sweden with your fans. You had a fan base, no, but, no. but the channel wasn't at se almost 700,000 subscribers. No, bro, I, was yet. Like, I was like 20K right then. <laughs> yeah, but it was really lovely. Indigo approached me through Ask Japanese, right? Yeah. Like, through Ask Japanese, yeah. but also Indigo had seen some of my Boy to Berlita videos, right? Yeah. And that was way before, and I didn't know that you were the, the same, same person, person right? as Japanese. I was yeah. like, hang on. So boy like, oh, to Berliner? Uh, so, <laughs> boy to Brolita. Like Lolita, but yeah. for boys, Brolita. Oh, I didn't so know you, that. So, I dressed up one of my students, well, of my, uh, not of my students. When I was uh, still a university student, I dressed up one of my friends. Um, they had just the perfect face, and they turned out to be looking like such a cute girl, and I loved being able to do that. And I still love dressing guys and girls up in Lolita fashion, the fashion that I like wearing. And uh, so that was also a topic that we were talking about when yeah. we were chatting, which was great, because I was really interested that Indigo also had that interest in Japanese mm -hmm. fashion, wearing cute things. And if you are seeing this on YouTube right now, you'll see also Indigo's amazing style here. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Indigo yep. has evolved over time, and I live like saying it like this because obviously we know each other for so long now. Like going sure. into like you know it started off with the visual K, but then more and more and more pink came into your life, right, yeah. and more and more color came into your life, and then the skirts, and then the fashion, and the wigs, and more and more and more, and the style got better, the makeup got better. So it was a journey for you, right? Absolutely, absolutely. You remember the first time we met that one time in Tokyo six years ago? I had purple hair. Mm -hmm. Now I got pink hair. So it's mm -hmm. like it's not that much of a difference. It's like yeah, a little. Uh, it's an evolution. It's, it's the fashion has oh, changed. Oh yeah, yeah, no, don't get me wrong. Absolutely. So you had, you had blue about... hair at some point as well, didn't you? Had what? Didn't you have blue hair back ages ago? Uh, I had yeah. Before I had the purple, I actually dyed it during my stay in Tokyo that time. I had like black, blue, and pink, like in layered. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah. For a long while. Yeah. Tell us about your fashion journey. How did it start? Where was the interest? And I guess, and I'm pretty sure the step of. I am putting on a skirt right now, would also be, must have been like sure. a big step for you too, right? And now you're rocking it. So where sure. where did it start, and where are you now? Um, I'm not sure. I had the interest even even before I came to Japan, even before now. Um, I always thought um, typically feminine styles, um, things like especially Lolita fashion. Mm -hmm. I thought was so cool it, it like it was so beautiful it's so right, cute right, uh, right. but it, it it also kind of started with me discovering visual k mm -hmm. when i was like 15 uh, cuz a lot of those bands while playing you know death metal and being like super heavy uh, a lot of them looked like very cute girls and yeah, i thought they that were was wearing skirts i thought too, that right? was so cool yeah uh, there was a band called Ancafe, shout out um, don't <laughs> think they're active anymore but they especially uh, their one guitar player bo I thought it was like the cutest little girl I've seen, and uh. he's like he's like older than any of us, you know. Uh. <laughs> but uh, nice. I was like, oh, and I was like, oh, you can do this and like still do metal and that mix. I was like, this is so cool. I want to do that. Uh, took me a lot of years until I actually like got got the nerves to do it. But you know, uh, seeing honestly, seeing like even even Lady Beard doing your thing, you know, um, despite with a beard, but still the fashion and what you represent and all that. I was like, oh, the, the, like it's possible to do it like in so many different ways, mm -hmm. you know, um, all the visual K bands, your thing, but then also drag, things like RuPaul's Drag Race becoming popular and uh, the whole world kind of opening up more and more with YouTube and stuff like that. So I was like, oh shit, it's possible to do this. Um, so yeah, it was. It's been a very gradual process, mm -hmm. you know. So it doesn't happen overnight. This makeup doesn't happen this this well overnight. So no, I, I didn't go from blue jeans to like this in a day. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, it was like, oh, I'm gonna try eyeliner. Now let's try something else. Now let's try pink hair. Now let's, you know, and suddenly one day you wake up looking like this, and it's like, oh, cool. Yeah, it's it's a process. I mean, it's the same thing. Like for like for example, Alita fashion. It, it just it's a process, right? Yeah. You you start practicing a little bit of makeup, or you you start practicing or trying out styles, and then you gradually see always oh, the balance, right? Does it make that? Is it fun? How does this look? And you gradually work your way yeah, up. Absolutely. Yeah. So Indigo has massively like check out Indigo's Instagram. It's just like it's so interesting to see. <laughs> <laughs> it's been. I mean, you've been you've been there the entire journey, pretty mm -hmm. much. What's been your like? Not to make this about me, but like, what's been your perception of my like evolution? Because a lot of it has been influenced from you too, because you've been there like supporting me and inspiring oh, wow. me so much for so many years. Oh, thank you. So first of all, no, say of thank course. you for saying that. No, of course. No, like I always love seeing when people start 
doing those steps, right? Because right. for everyone, it's a scary step. Even just wearing a pink T-shirt can be scary for some people, right? Yeah, Even absolutely. some of you guys listening right now might be thinking the exact same, like, oh my God, I'm a guy, I want to wear cute fashion, but I'm so scared, right? Mm. But you started gradually, like, including more and more color into your life and your yeah. style keeps changing. I could, like, tell by looking at the pictures, I could tell where you were, oh, that's ACD rack. Okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but you, the good thing is you, you were never shy to experiment. Sure. And I think that is so important for anyone to not just just go, oh, I can't do it perfectly, so I won't do it. Yeah. Or I'm scared of people saying this or that about me. Because you will have negative comments. We all oh, yeah, have negative absolutely. comments, guys. For for whatever we represent, all three of us. Yeah. Because none of us is stereotypically normal in here. No, I mean, <laughs> that's a non-controversial thing to say. I think but, I'm very mainstream. <laughs> yes. My appearance. Totally. I think you might be the most mainstream out of the three of us, which <laughs> is saying something. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> Um, yeah, it, you improved so much, like even your makeup. Sometimes now I catch myself going, "Damn, how did Indigo make that makeup <laughs> look?" So you know, nah, it, there's so nah. much improvement <laughs> over time. Um, listen, uh, I have like like my two like guiding philosophies. Uh, number one is like I always like dive in the deep end, even if I'm bad, and I'm very not shy at showing off doing stuff because I just like doing it. I, I've released songs that have been terrible, mixes that have been terrible, videos that have sucked, makeup looks that have sucked, but I'd rather start bad and then gradually improve and constantly do stuff than like wait and wait and wait until you're maybe good one day mm -hmm. because at that point life will have pass you by already. Oh, and that's the process of learning yeah. anything as a human being. Yeah, you know, it's like the iterator versus the perfectionist, mm. you know, and I, I always want to be the iterator. But more than that, and not to get morbid now, but like remembering that I'll be dead soon. It's, it, it helps me wake up in the morning. It's such a positive force for me because oh, it makes me fearless. Mm -hmm. It makes me unafraid to be myself uh, uh, and so unapologetically so because mm -hmm. I'll be dead soon, we'll all be dead soon, and in a hundred years, nobody will remember any of this anyway. So live as your, your life as good as you can while you still can, because you're alive now, so make the most out of it. And that really helps me push forward. Oh, that was a PSA for yeah, the kids. There we go, that's good. Yeah, Have one no. yen. Yay! <laughs> the one yen is going Worth it. One yen that we found on the Pays for my chair. subway trip back home. <laughs> I traveled all the way across the city dressed like this for this, so. It is pay wonderful for that you can percent of your that. subway <laughs> trip. <laughs> yeah, if even. So now it's not just the fashion. You started to get more into girly fashion, and sure. you're now spouting some wonderful thing, poppies. I don't know what you're it's, talking about. I, 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 everything is perfect about this outfit. I love, I love you. how you, you have become more and more bold and brave over time. Sure, yeah. And I, I, again, guys, this doesn't happen overnight. I know a lot of people are scared to live the way they want to, like dress the way they want to dress, right. live the way they want to live. I think we all had to push through some walls to get yes. through where we are right now. Absolutely. And there has to be that aspect of being fearless to get there as well. Mm. So how would you describe your current style? Style. Oh, fashion style mm -hmm. uh, today. Um, I like to think of it. I mean, it's basically something between old school kind of like Harajuku street fashion mm -hmm. mixed with a bit more Western modern drag, mm -hmm. I guess. Uh, things you might see on like a, a drag TV show. Uh, I like to think of it as like uh, cute, kawaii, but also very like cyberpunky. Mm -hmm. Those are like my favorite mm -hmm. mixes. Mm -hmm. uh, very futuristic. Uh, I'm playing the cyberpunk game right now, and I see a lot of people <laughs> oh. looking like I want to look. Mm -hmm. You know, big pink like plastic hair that's like <laughs> huge. You know, tight corsets, uh, but like still like very Harajuku rooted. So like, yeah, Harajuku meets Western cyber drag kind of and ish. The outfit that we were talking about this earlier, even the hair pieces you kind of crafted together over time. You found more and more bits, put them together. There's some speaker cables in there. Right. That like experimentalism is so fun to see and just like, ooh, how does, I keep wanting to touch it. <laughs> so, Here, you can, you can. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, they're very light. You can put your finger in these. Like let, me, the, yeah, let me touch as well. Like there you go. You can traps. put your fingers in and like Oh, well, these are actually in. surprisingly <laughs> yeah. light. Yeah, it's a good yeah. point. They're incredibly light. They're lighter than I expected. What was I mad at? Sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm some kind of fish something something? Um, pff, I don't, Fish I don't know. oriented something? It's, just it's almost like one, yeah, one of those nets you catch fish in almost. Yeah. Similar material. And now that we're here, you also recently have come out as non-binary. My God, this, this is spitting facts. Yes. yes, all the facts. In so, like February, March, I think. Yes. Mm. So what are you said uh, you have? Uh, what are your pronouns? I'm just going to ask. Uh, OK, so I, I get that a lot. Uh, so uh, what I've said officially publicly is like all pronouns are fine. I don't I don't mm -hmm. 
really care. I'm just busy living my life. So he, she, they is what I've stated on Instagram. Um, and I'm like, I, I, it's, I kind of like don't mind any of them and I would never really correct anybody. I've seen fans online correct my IRL friends for calling me he online. And, you know, I felt uh, blah, for a long while, I guess, that I'm somewhere on some sort of maybe trans spectrum, but I'm not entirely sure what. I do enjoy all the feminine stuff, but I also don't want to like... I need to choose my words wisely. I don't want to discard my male identity because I still like my voice and my like, yeah. So I'm like, well, I guess non-binary is kind of a good middle ground. That makes sense. I kind of don't don't worry too much about the terminology. I just, it's fine, whatever. I'm just going to live my life and eat my pizzas and dress up, you know. Mm. Do you eat a lot of pizza? I try not to, <laughs> but it's hard. Pizza is delightful to eat. It is. I think you're really, really living that core of what I like. I was just saying, my YouTube channel, the do what you love and love what you do. You, mm, right, you, yes. You want to, you know, if you want to dress up like this, if you want to do certain things, you just do it. And we might yeah. all be dead. I'm, I learned that one. That's right. Like, that, if you, it gets, that one gets you up in the morning. That's yeah. an interesting one. And like the with a non-binary, like it helps, it helps me make sense of myself, but it also help other, it really helps other people, I've noticed make sense of me. Mm. Like, what are you? Like, well, if you think of it that way, then they're like, okay, okay, that kind of makes sense. You oh, know? right, so it actually helps. Is there, Have you ever encountered any difficulties with drag? With drag? Um, getting good at it. <laughs> it's like well, that's a challenge, that mm. uh, Yeah. Um, not really. Um, the thing with, like, I there's, like, there's a drag community in Tokyo of, like, Westerners doing drag. Uh, a lot of them are close friends of mine. They're all super talented people. They all do... Um, certain things in like their makeup style that like drag queens typically do the way they contour stuff like that i i don't do that so i am always like an oddball out uh, mm -hmm. and i get like oh you should try doing more drag style makeup i'm like i thought i was mm -hmm. it's never an insult it's more like oh why don't you do it like this and i'm like i i just I don't know. You do you. You do you. Where? You do you. You I've do like, your stuff. I've like developed my method of doing makeup. That is not how drag queens do it. It's not how Harajuku people do it. It's just how I do it. Mm. It's not perfect, but but it's me, god damn it. So, mm. you know. As long as it makes you happy. <laughs> and it, I, I think it looks really good, guys. You will see it on fine. the YouTube. It looks uh, I think well. it's, uh, I think the fact that it is uh, you, damn it, is far superior than if you were trying to impersonate somebody else. Right. Mm. Rather be me than be correct. You know, mm. a lot of life lessons in this episode, I feel, but yeah. Mm. What was like the hardest... <laughs> life lessons? What? Life, life lessons. lessons. Oh, life lessons. I think just life lessons. Life lessons. Life lessons. I'm like, really? This is a little... Okay. <laughs> I didn't feel that <laughs> way, but if you say so. A lot of life lessons. I thought you were saying, well, no energy in this room. Oh my no, God, so a life lessness. No, no, no. We <laughs> said lifelessness. No. I'm like, well, all right. Well, we'll do your podcast <laughs> next time and you can control yeah. things. <laughs> Welcome to Indigo with Beard. That's Mine right. is Beard. <laughs> <laughs> but with cat. That's the full title. Cat with go. Um, cat go. Go cat. 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 I would like to have a song about I that. I guess I've I'll been it. fired. I guess I'll <laughs> see you all later. Yeah, Johnny, there's the door. Um, I was going to say, I was going to say before you leave no, the No, don't be sad, please. In the last episode, um, I asked you what Sorry. advice you would give to musicians. Mm -hmm. In this episode, I would like you to ask you what advice would you give to people who want to dress like you? Sure. Um, Whether it be drag or, or, or not drag, what advice would you right. give? Right. General advice? Uh, gosh, it's a very broad question. But in general, I'd say, um, number one, what helps me, again, uh, you'll be dead soon. So <laughs> do it now while you still can. But on a more serious note, uh, number two, uh, if you want to just figure out what works, just try different stuff. Try different types of fabric, try different clothing th things, try different sizes, try different styles, different hair colors. Uh, try everything until you find what works for you. You know, I, I definitely have tried a lot of things. Uh, purple hair, you know, black hair, um, blonde hair. Like, wh I had white fake dreadlocks for like a year and a half uh, many years ago. Um, you try everything and eventually you find something you love and then you'll be happy. So, yeah. yeah. Let's try stuff. I want. I just want to throw something in there. Um, yeah, I agree. Try things. If you want to do it, uh, go for it. Don't let anyone else um, stop you. However, I do want to say, make sure you remain safe. 
That's oh a yes, one. absolutely. Yes. Perhaps, Especially if you're doing it abroad. Uh, perhaps if you, yeah, if you're doing in it in public, Japan, particularly, yeah. maybe the the neo Nazi convention is not the best time to try cross dressing for the first time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, um, yeah mm. there might be a point to that. Yeah. Um, and also, I get a lot of questions and and messages from from my fans who are like often like younger dem demographics. It's like, hey, I want to try dressing up, but I still live with my parents and they wouldn't like it. What mm -hmm. do I do? Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm like, that is hard. Uh, one thing could be like, do it, you know, at, at night after they go to bed in secret. I don't know. <laughs> but also like, you know, uh, while you're still living at home with your parents, it, it can be hard because you're mm -hmm. under their ceiling. I don't, I don't want to like, be held responsible, so I, I, I'm just going to say be careful, be safe, but also don't be afraid to be you. Um, mm -hmm. How do your parents feel about you dragging? Um, they think I'm cool, I hope. Uh, <laughs> My mum thinks I'm cool. <laughs> My mum says I, I'm cool. <laughs> Uh, no, I mean, they've been, they've been part of, you know, they watch my YouTube stuff, they know what I'm doing, and they're like, yeah, cool, you know, I think they're mostly just happy I'm, I'm, uh, having a successful career and following yeah. my dreams. Well, I guess your dad's a guitar maker, and you're from a music family, yeah, like, yeah. the whole family's in music, Even my, so. my, my granddad used to, like, play the guitar. Well, there stuff. we go, then. So, That's, yeah, you know. uh, so, yeah, I definitely have a little bit of that background. Um, also, yeah. uh, because I, I've done the boy to bro leader video, I sometimes get people who's like, please dress me up, please help me dress up and things like that. But I, I also want to mention that um, you have to do certain things yourself too. Look it up on YouTube. All the resources are there now. Yeah. It didn't just, Endigo just didn't like wake up and he had like 10 people who dressed Endigo up and put on the makeup. Endigo tried this over time and yeah. got better over time. And let's be honest, we girls don't get that either. We don't get someone who dresses us up. Sometimes we feel lucky maybe, but we also gradually get better. My first makeup tries were terrible. Oh yeah. So no. it, you, don't wait for someone to do it for you. Yeah. If you want to do this, mm. you need to do put in the hours Taking and get the there. Initiative. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, I started trying to do makeup, you know, maybe 12 years ago. And it's, it's just been a very great, because I was terrible. I can't draw anything at all. I, I just don't have that in me. So it's been a very slow, but still steady, you know, development uh, for me. So yeah. I find, I find doing the opposite eye from yeah. your <laughs> preferred oh, yeah, hand yes. very it's challenging. It's still challenging yeah. for me too. This one's acceptable. Once you got to do this, you're getting into a whole new dimension of uncoordination. Yeah. Or oh, getting God. a CAD yeah. line right yeah. every morning, uh, the struggle's if, real. If, if you paint on fake eyebrows like I do, I have them 90% shaved, uh, the left eyebrow with the right hand is like... <laughs> it's like really? Yeah. Oh. I mean, it, oh. might be, it might be smudged it's, out It's now, a little bit it's really sh hidden under your fringe right now, that's why. But I yeah. think your eyebrows are very attractive. Mission accomplished. I'm just trying to attract Lady Beard over here. Uh, is that a <laughs> how sign many minutes that, how remain many minutes? in this bathroom? Is that a sign that we're... <laughs> we have no clock in the studio, that's why we're asking. Five, five of them. Five minutes, five okay. Well. Final advice you want to put out there for people who want to be like you. Um, don't be like me, be like you. <laughs> hey! That's good advice. Yeah, that's good advice. There we yes. go. Good advice. Don't be like don't be like the next lady beard, be the first you. Like you know what I mean? That's mm. good advice. Carve your own path. Mm. And be the, be the legend for the next generation to follow. And Endigo's a great example for carving your own path, literally. Yeah. Now has millions of listenings on songs, has almost 700,000 subscribers on YouTube, and this is all handmade no big studios you really did the soul yourself i've never and had a record deal i don't have the uh, uh university degree you were supposed to have to get into japan i brute forced oh, really? my way through life yeah brute forced my way into the country through the, my life through the career made it here somehow <laughs> Just by sheer um, arrogance and <laughs> willpower, so willpower, a lot man. of hard work. I, I've yes. seen how hard you work. So yes. you're also that. very tall. That helps. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> no, if anything, the opposite in this country. Well, it might help. You know, I stand out physically. Definitely that too. Yeah. Right. Okay. Anything you would like to promote? Anything you would like to draw people's attention to? Um. No, I have a YouTube channel, uh, Indigo. I mostly do like music stuff, music related stuff. I also have a new channel called Indigo Pink. Which I haven't entirely figured out what it's gonna be, but I feel like it's it's like the more uh, spam channel. I do like lesser effort videos, more drag related stuff. Um, I, I guess shout out to uh, the new uh, Lady Beard's songs with Baby Beard that I wrote and produced and hey, played solo in. Twisted soon. Kaiju Tail and Opti Squad coming at you in the future. Yes, can't the wait to hear them. Future. Yes, no, I, I can't wait know. to hear them. No, no. Have, have you heard them? Mm -hmm. You're in Great for treats. You're in for treats. Yeah, yeah, okay, well, I'm excited to find out when those new hits are going to drop. Are you they going to drop in your... You did an excellent job. Are they going to drop Thank in you. the convention? 
Uh, we'll be singing them at Unicorn if we are going to be at Unicorn in Vienna on October 28th weekend. I should have said the. On the weekend of October 28th. It was two words, the and of. Uh, on the friend. weekend of October 28th in Vienna, Austria. Vienna. We'll see you there. The Unicorn. Maybe you're in one of the surrounding areas. Maybe you're in Switzerland. Maybe you're in Germany. Germany. Maybe you're in Greece. Sweden. Maybe you're Rome. No excuses. trip is on the cards to see Baby Beard at a Unicorn 2022. Yes. Now, a little message for all the fans in Austria. Say something in Dutch. Nanschlugendergen. My name is Moomin. Moomin's Dutch, isn't he? Why am Dutch? Yeah. Why Dutch? <laughs> Why am Dutch? Warum? <laughs> yeah. Because they speak... Cut the commercial. <laughs> what? That was an odd moment. <laughs> You had the choice between French or German. But he went with Moomin or... from Finland. <laughs> He's from Finland. I thought he was Dutch. No, it's written in Finland, but in native Swedish by a Swedish speaker. I'm an Australian in a room of Europeans <laughs> still talking about Japan. Japanese This stuff. ended on a very awkward note, in <sighs> instigated by me. <laughs> Oi, come to Austria. But what we learned. <laughs> What we learned in this episode is you might all be dead soon, so better yeah, live the life so, of your dreams so, right while, now. While you still can. Yeah, while but don't cross dress near Nazis. Not let's not bring yeah, that being dead forward. Yeah, let's, let's not do that. Let's not do it. Just be careful when you're doing it, um, but also work hard to get there. Yes. Let's wrap this bad boy up. Let's oh my do god. It. Okay, Finally. anything else you want to promote? The internet at Ladybeard underscore Japan, the internet at babybeard underscore Japan. See you there, Kathy Cat. And Endigo. Uh, at Endigo Skyborn on Twitter, uh, Endigo Pink on Instagram, and um, that's about it. What about you, Kathy Cat? Kathy Cat, Kathy Cat, Underbar TV, both of the C. Underbar, Underbar TV on Twitch, Twitter, Instagram, all the all the channels Every brand everywhere. There is. Exactly. On Japan the Japan Railway Journey. Exact journal. <coughs> yes. Japan Railway Journal. Japan Railway Close Journey. Journey. On Come on, NHK Overlord. World. <laughs> NHK World. Yeah, NHK, NHK, NHK World. Globe. International <laughs> Japanese. NHK <laughs> Land. And all the fun fun shenanigans. Uh, it was a real don't pleasure forget to have you here. The cat Indigo. with beard tweety tweet tweet. Cat with beard at Mark. Cat with beard and links the down below. If you should be one of the people who has still a Twitter account, it would be awesome because all the news about us are gonna drop there. As yes. well as please come on over and subscribe to our YouTube account. We are looking for you on the YouTube account and then you can see all our wonderful outfits because mm -mm. we're all wearing pink today Donald and we look Trump absolutely have a Twitter, fabulous. They kick them off. I think he's back. Maybe. Oh, is he really? Oh, God. Maybe. I'm not sure. Don't I hope he's a subscriber. <laughs> Mr. Trump. Everyone, <laughs> like, subscribe to Would you bring him on as a guest if he asked to? <laughs> oh, my God. What are we ever? <laughs> Good That'd news. be the greatest cat with me ever. A lot of views. <laughs> Saying <laughs> that'd be something else. I don't know what we talk about. Oh gosh! <laughs> Let's wrap this bad Jay boy up. Let's do that. All right, everyone. See you soon for another episode of Cat, Cat Without Ending.